Hi yogis, Carly and Rose here, and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing intro to crow flow. So crow is one of my favorite poses. It is very challenging and it can be kind of a mystery pose if you haven't really practiced it a lot. So this is going to get us into the foundations of crow and then from there you can build into all kinds of crazy variations. But the important thing is, of course, starting with the foundation and then building up from that. So we'll start with an ankle to knee or pi double pigeon warm up. Uh, one of my favorite ways to warm up because we can start opening up our hips without really having to worry about stretching too much. So come to a comfortable seated position. Ankles and knees are stacked uh, on top of each other. No need again to worry about pressing the knee down. Just let it fall where it may. Uh, top foot is flexed. Bottom foot can be flexed or um, kind of rotated towards the earth. Whatever is more comfortable for you. And we'll start by activating our mula on the breath. So that's going to start getting into our deep core muscles, all of our spinal muscles, um, and building that strength from the inside out. So inhaling here, feeling the base of your belly in a 360 direction, and as you exhale, squeeze all of the air in and up, exhaling all along your spine. Inhale here, exhale, inhale, filling your low belly in a 360 direction, exhale. Exhaling all of the air in and out, exhaling through your nose. And we'll start adding some movement to that with our breath of freedom. So inhale, you're going to mini arch or back bend here as you open your arms wide and as you exhale, a little bit of a round, mostly in your shoulders, and give yourself a big hug. I've got right leg and right arm on top as I'm doing this. Exhale. Inhale last time. And exhale, give yourself some love and a nice big hug. And come back to center and we will switch sides. So now left leg is on top. Again, finding that comfortable seated position. Uh, left leg, the bottom leg again can be flexed or rotated towards the earth. Sitting up tall through the crown of your head. Then inhaling, getting that mula bandha breath going again. Exhale. Inhale here, gently warming up our legs, and then we'll get in our arms. So adding that movement with the breath of freedom. So inhaling a mini back bend, so you to open up your chest and shoulders. Exhale, give yourself a big hug. Inhale here, starting to tap into all of the muscles that we're going to use for our crow. Last one, exhale, very nice. Now from here we'll make our way onto our hands and knees. So coming to our hands and knees position, you want strong foundation, so really strong fingertips, um, and then strong ring of the palm. You don't want too much weight on the heel, or really any weight on the heel of your palm, and you're going to kind of suction up almost, so feel like a little gecko or like spider-man you know on your fingertips that's where your strength is you kind of suction up it's not that dramatic but you start there and then come to your palms and really have a strong foundation on the earth so tuck your toes under we're going to do some cat cow so inhale and as you exhale just press off of the ground just a little bit lifting up your knees really lifting up from your core and pressing into the earth with that strong hand foundation Inhale here, exhale, inhale, exhale, really lift and holding it. This time, pressing all the way back to your down dog. Start to pedal out your feet, warming up the backs of your legs now. And from here, you're going to bend your knees and elbows. We'll do a vinyasa wave, so waving your spine forward into your plank, coming onto your knees, lowering to the earth. Inhale here, prepare long spine, really lifting in and up, coming into a cobra. You can come into a low cobra, you can come into a higher cobra, wherever you're feeling today. And then exhale, you can either come through your knees or lifting up through pointed plank, back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, slight bend in the knees and elbows again. Create space and momentum to lift your right leg. And as you exhale, you're going to bring your right knee to the upper right arm. 
hold it there for a moment. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist it now to the left, just going towards the left arm. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, really lifting it in and up, pressing against the right arm again. Think about pressing your right arm against the knee and so you can hold it there for a couple of breaths. And then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Try to open up our inner leg a little bit so you can even roll onto the pinky toe edge of your foot, get a bit more opening in your hip. Inhale here, keeping your spine long. Now from here, you're gonna just twist the right arm up. Just getting a little bit deeper stretch into that leg. Exhale, hand comes back to the earth. Now here's a real fun challenge for you. Slight bend in your knee and elbow. So you lift up into the earth and see if you can bring your right foot up, coming back to that kind of position where we have the arm on the, or the foot, the knee on the arm, and step back, downward facing dog. Very nice from here, right leg lifts again, open your hips to the side and drop your foot behind you. Getting into the front of our leg, stretching the psoas. And exhale, bring it back to the earth. And we've got two sides, so we'll try that all again. So inhale here, prepare, left leg lifts this time. Exhale, bring left knee to upper left arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, see if you can really hold it. Your knees on your upper left arm. You're pressing your knee into your arm and pressing your arm into your knee. And then exhale, step the foot to the outside of your left hand. Again, from here, you can roll onto the pinky toe edge of your foot. Get a little bit more stretch in your inner thigh. And see if you can just hold this stretch for a few breaths, really starting to open up the legs. Doing a lot of work on our arms, preparing for our crow. <laughs> Remember to keep that strong foundation. You don't want to start falling flat into your hands and hurt your wrists. And from here, left arm reaches up to the sky. Now for that super adventure challenge, Start with slight bend in your knees and elbows. Create a lot of space and momentum. Lift up through your core. See if you can re-hinge that knee. And step back to down dog. Now left leg lifts. Open to the side and drop your left foot behind you. Very nice. Come back to center from here, bending your knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale. Back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, step your feet towards your hands. We're going to get off our wrists for a moment. Step your feet really wide. We're going to come into malasana, so a yoga squat. So from here, now if you can't sit all the way down, that's totally fine. Maybe you have to hang out here. Maybe you need to get a block. Whatever you have to do to come into this kind of yoga squat position, you do want to make sure that your knees and toes are in line facing out so that you're not twerking your knees or anything. And you do want to sit up with a tall spine. So this is really going to help us open up for our crow and gives us an opportunity to do a little magic wrist clear after all of that hard work on our hands. So just think about massaging your forearm a little, getting a bit of traction, pulling your wrist away from your arm. And we'll sit in our yoga squat for a moment. And then here's kind of where our crow challenge is gonna come from. We wanna take all of those elements that we've been using, really grounding into the earth with strong hands and lifting in and up, like when we were hinging our leg on the, our outer arm. Those are the movements and motions of crow, but we want to combine all of them at the same time, and that's how you lift and get that fly, that flight. So, start with, we're just going to do kind of a little bit of a malasana lean, basically. So start with strong palms coming onto the earth and lift onto your toes. Right now we're not worrying about lifting up, I just want you to think about the strength in your palms 
lifting up and just stay on your toes here and notice how even from Malasana, our knees are already really high up on our arms. That's what we want for our crow. And we're gonna do the same thing like we did when we were hinging it in our plank. You're gonna press your arms into your legs as you press your legs into your arms. That's gonna create a lock and a lot of strength to, to be able to do crow. So this is kind of the foundation of the pose and then from here we just start to lift. Now, if you were to lift from here, you're gonna be kind of wonky off balance. So step your feet closer together and then sit back towards your heels. So now we're in kind of a modified preparation pose. Again, if you need a block, you can do that as well. Um, they can be great to sit behind you or in front of you if you wanna use it for balance. Um, just kind of depends where your flexibility is. You'll have to play around with it a little bit to figure out what's gonna suit your, your needs and your body. But the idea is feet are closer together underneath you. You got our strong foundation, our strong palms. We're really lifting in and up to really get that lift. And think about bringing your knees as high up as you can on your arms. Press your arms into your knees, your knees into your arms. And you start to lean forward. And if this is where you hang out today, this is where you hang out. This is building huge amounts of strength in your arm and of course your core really lifting up away from the earth. You can start by lifting one leg and then the other, and then eventually this turns into crow. And just practice that, practice balancing it, and then you can come back into your malasana, stretch, do your magic wrist clear again, and keep doing that motion, keep doing that practice, keep working on grounding into the earth step you can start here that's usually a good position especially if you're learning crow ground into the earth lifting up creating that lock with your arms and knees and then leaning forward so your heart is like laser pointed to the earth so that lean is what's going to help you lift up off of your toes and then again you can come back into malasana to stretch magic wrist clear and keep practicing it Keep using the block if you need, and then when you're ready, come back to your Shavasana, your final resting pose. You have earned it today. <laughs> so just take up as much space on your mat as you would like today. Really sink into the earth and just feel all of that strength and power you just cultivated from that flow. So. Like I said, crow pose is, can be kind of an elusive pose, but it is tons of fun once you, once you get it, once you start getting into the practice of it. It's very challenging, builds tons of core strength, builds tons of balance, and it looks cool. So hopefully you found that, that flow and tutorial helpful. Again, keep practicing it. I do look forward to seeing you on the mat again, so make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications when the new videos go up. I also have exclusive content for you on the League of Mary Yogi's email list. Link is in the description below. Namaste.